Hello, the Rusty Hubcap here. I'm back with another video, and today I got back from Hubcap hunting. I had a reasonably uh, precise day with uh, Hubcaps, and uh, quite a few of them that I don't have, actually, that I found today on my uh, search. And I'm going to go ahead and start with the first one, which is obviously a more common Hubcap for me. If you know about American collectors, that we usually find the 61137 as it's called this is a 2005 to 2007 Toyota Camry very simple obviously it's missing half uh, about half a clip and it's missing both of these but the rest are still there and I'd say this one is a 2006 or 2005 either one Next we have is this aftermarket hubcap, which kind of has a retro design, but actually this one was made eight years ago. This is a 2010 uh, KT825 15 inch, and uh, this one was made in August of 2010, and it's got a crack right here, and it's missing a little bit of the outer edge, but it, I like the design of this one. It looks like a, some kind of 1990s Japanese hubcap. Uh, it's missing two clips, that's all. Next hubcap is this Toyota Corolla. This is a 1995 to 1997 Toyota Corolla. Or 95 to 99. It's missing some of its uh, factory paint to where it's been basically brought down to its uh, bare bones plastic. On the back, it's missing a couple clips. This one was found on an on-ramp. But it was laying in the middle of the road, but thankfully the the road that it was laying in was cr was uh, closed. Next we have is this this uh, plastic dog dish hubcap for a semi trailer or some kind of semi truck. It's made in Taiwan. And um, somebody just apparently put tape back here to help hold it down. As as you can see, that didn't help out. This was made in August also, but of 2014. Very interesting design of this kind. Next we have is this cone-centered looking aftermarket center cap. I found this near road construction. By the way, pictures are posted on Flickr. It's got some very unusual tape-like materials trying to keep it together or glue, but that didn't help. This was... Oh... It was like September of 2004, so this is a more older center cap. And as you can see, the clips are still there, but it's just cracked really bad. It's got a part number back here, so I can still look up exactly what brand of wheels this was and what they look like. But I really like the center, and it's very unusual. Next, unfortunately, is my very first Lexus cap. And why I say unfortunately is because it's broken. Um, this one is for a Lexus LS or an ES, I believe. I haven't even looked any of these up. This is surprising. Uh, the badge is still in there. Unfortunately, it's missing the rear brace, but uh, still a very nice emblem. The next we have is a very rare center cap that doesn't fall off too much because it's held in by its lug nuts. This is a 1993 to current Jeep center cap for basically all models. This is for a Jeep Cherokee and uh, Wranglers and even the Jeep Patriot use these but uh, these are very hard to find they never fall off and this one's in excellent condition too this is found near a pothole on a very uh, hilly road next is a center cap that I've actually never found before but this is one of the more common Chevrolet wheels that you see on the road in America this is a 2007 to 2013 Chevrolet Suburban Tahoe or Avalanche center cap. Very few Silverados use this, but it's mostly Tahoes and Suburbans. The aluminum face is in excellent condition, and so is the gold bow tie. One of the little clips is broken. The little clip head is broken, and one is bent backwards, but nothing else is wrong with it. One thing I like about these center caps over the newer ones is that this is made by FPE in America, where they should be made and not in China, like they are nowadays. On with the badges. Found this very, very nice uh, Mercedes trunk emblem for a 1989 uh, 450 SD. 
very nice. It's got all of its pegs. And this is off of a, it says 201, and a Mercedes-Benz always put their platform number on their logo, so this is a off a of W201. Next is this Jaguar emblem. This is a, for a steering wheel, I believe. This is a 1986 to 1987 Jaguar XJ6 or XJS. It's got a gold uh, tint to it. And it's a very nice condition also. Next we have is this very nice Volvo emblem. Unfortunately, it's a little bit bent. Both of its pegs are still in place. This one's bent a little bit. But this is for 1969 to 1971 Volvo 164E. And this went on the trunk on the left side above the 164E logo, which would have been right along in here. But the, that, those were all purchases there. Next is a really cool find. We have this very hard to find nowadays. Uh, this is a 2000 to 2005 Pontiac Sunfire hubcap. It's missing one of the fake GM lug nuts. It's got an, the old Pontiac logo. Unfortunately, this isn't one of the ABS hubcaps that says ABS on the center or on the outer edge, but that's still pretty cool. On the back, it's just held in by its lug nuts. No clips required. And um, I believe the year of this one is 2000, as it may seem. But that's another very cool find. And last but not least, one of the best finds of the day is this very cool 1994 to 1997 Buick Regal uh, hubcap. I found one of these about two or three years ago in another city, but unfortunately it was so badly broken. I just left it, but now I found one that's in way better shape. On the back, the clips are actually intended to be like this. To be, a, well, not entirely. They were meant to be curved like this, but they weren't supposed to be completely broken like this. Um, unfortunately, two of the clips that are in these little slots right here are missing. But uh, these three over here are still there. This one is missing the head. And I believe this is off of 1994. But yes, uh, pictures are posted on Flickr, so uh, go check those out once they're posted. And uh, that's all the finds for this Hubcap Saturday. And as usual, Hubcap Sunday is right around the corner. And uh, let's just see what I can find tomorrow. And I'll see you guys next time. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Bye.